And while ministers are always happy to talk about levelling up in the vaguest possible terms, to me they cannot claim to have come close to levelling up the North East until the children in our region have the same life chances as those in the wealthiest regions. This can only be done by transforming the infrastructure and resources across our region, and much of this has to start in our schools. Um, um, but for me, the, 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 the state of the school in Framwell Gate um, and the St Leonard's in Durham, um, it's really the perfect yardstick for the government's pledge to level up the North East. And given that it was first selected for a rebuild under the last Labour government over a decade ago, can the Minister honestly say that education has improved in the city of Durham if they cannot even commit to rebuilding a school that the last Labour government pledged to rebuild in 2009. We've had 12 years of Conservative governments and the condition of many of our schools continue to deteriorate even further. They're not asking for a lot, only what they were promised. And in comparison, let's consider the case of Belmont Church of England Primary School and Belmont Community School which were allocated funding for a new state-of-the-art joint campus under the then Labour-run Durham County Council. And it just goes to show the difference that Labour makes when we are in power. So before I move on, I want to extend an invitation to the Minister or to the Minister for School Standards um, when he watches this debate later on. Please come to Durham and let me show them the condition of some of the schools in Durham, like Framwellgate School so that they can see for themselves the conditions that many of our children have to learn in and many of our staff have to work.